I've only seen segments of it. I have not had the opportunity to look at the entire thing. And so, have you talked to Ryan? Does Ryan, has he seen any of the video? Oh, no. Okay. Well, I, he may have seen it if it were on the news. He may have seen it. Bill Ferguson told me that he hasn't seen the whole videotaped confession. I uh, know. But for a man who has devoted the last six years of his life to proving his son's innocence, this was a huge break. But I've been so busy and so preoccupied with going through all the testimony, going to the crime scene, uh, talking to a variety of people, that uh, I, I just didn't have time to, to be upset over it. I am, but not to the point that it's uh, been a crushing. Ferguson even started a website for Ryan. Oh, well here, I can show you something. FreeRyanFerguson.com You see this thing right here, it's called Ryan's Page. Every year since his son's conviction, but, Ferguson uh, has walked the crime scene. We'll go here and start if you'd like. Every Halloween night, the anniversary of the murder. And it's amazing after two o'clock how quiet this whole downtown area becomes. I mean, like dead silent. Going back to Halloween night, 2001, Columbia Tribune's sports editor, Kent Heitholt, was leaving his workplace when he was attacked. Hit over the head and strangled with his own belt. Police found Heitholt dead in the parking lot. The murder went unsolved for more than two years, until March 10th, 2004, when Chuck Erickson turned himself in. I can't recollect, and it's just a trip for me to have to sit here and try to look at something that happened that I read about and try to base well, what I, mean, I remember off of that. That same day, Erickson also implicated his friend, Ryan Ferguson, in the murder. I'm not going to admit to something I didn't do to get the lesser sentence. If I go to jail for the rest of my life for something I didn't do, right. So be it. I'm not going to admit to something I didn't do. Erickson testified against Ferguson in 2005. What cost was it for you in your life? The more you articulated these memories to my, the police, my freedom is my life, my family. On October 21, 2005, the jury found Ryan Ferguson guilty of second-degree murder and first-degree robbery. The judge sentenced him to a total of 40 years. Erickson got 15. We're absolutely shocked and uh, it was very devastating. Ferguson believes Ryan's representation failed to call key witnesses. They were just so certain that they would win, they didn't think it was necessary. With Ryan Ferguson's new attorney, Kathleen Zellner. My name is Kathleen Zellner. Bill Ferguson keeps his hope up. After all, she is the one to whom Erickson gave his new statement. I strangled Ken Heidholt to death. I believe that I flipped out and committed the entire act alone and with little forethought. Ferguson spends most Thursdays with his son, but he misses the time they had together before the conviction. We used to play basketball down at uh, Rothwell at the University of Missouri. He was the smallest, youngest person, and we're playing man-on-man -on -man basketball, and he would get knocked down left, right, and center. He would just pop right back up. He wouldn't even call a foul. After more than six years and the countless visits Ferguson has had with his son, I asked him if he's ever asked Ryan the big question. Have you ever flat out asked Ryan if he murdered Ken Highholt? I think he just told me immediately that, uh, hey, Dad, I didn't have anything to do with that, and that's all it needed to be said. 